we present a system that can take a photograph and generate a time-lapse video with changing time of day and weather. Previous approaches include pixel-level transformations by optical flow, autoregressive prediction of latent inputs to a generator, three-dimensional convolutions. Usually these approaches cannot generate long videos with strong motion, because artifacts get quickly accumulated over time. Generation-based approaches usually work only in low resolution. In this paper, we propose to train a generative model which is capable of producing realistic images without modeling motion explicitly. We train our generator to decouple control of static and dynamic parts of the output image. Then we encode a given real image in terms of the generator inputs. After that, we can modify dynamic inputs in order to obtain a video. We leave static inputs unchanged, preserving such objects as land, mountains, buildings, etc. Finally, we obtain a high-resolution video by blending the generated video in medium resolution with the input image, which is often available in high resolution. Our generator is based on StyleGAN architecture. StyleGAN originally had two inputs, vector Z and a set of spatial noise matrices S. We modify StyleGAN by introducing two more inputs, Z dynamic and spatial inputs S dynamic. We train the generator with two discriminators. Static discriminator takes separate images and focuses on image quality. Pairwise discriminator takes parts of frames and predicts whether they belong to the same video. In other words, it focuses on validating that temporal change between the two frames is plausible. We found that it's very difficult to obtain a large, consistent and high-quality video dataset. Thus, we use a large dataset of images and a small video dataset. Importantly, we don't align motion speed in different videos between each other. In order to focus pairwise discriminator on motion and to prevent overfitting to a small video dataset, we employ a simple crop sampling trick. It consists in feeding crops from different locations of the same frame as a fake sample to the pairwise discriminator. When the generator is trained, we can generate videos by moving spatial inputs with simple homography transformations. Note that this model can generate possibly infinite videos that don't repeat. Note how addition of extra inputs to the generator and the crop sampling trick improve time consistency and overall motion plausibility. Well, we can generate videos from random noise, but what about reenacting a given real image? Common approaches include encoding with a feedforward network and later optimization. Optimization is needed as the encoder network alone cannot deliver precise reconstruction. Algorithms proposed in the previous works lead to out-of-domain latent codes and allow to manipulate only vector inputs. Our encoding problem is different. Our generator has a very redundant input space and relies on spatial noises much more than original style GAN trained on FACES dataset. We need to obtain in-domain latent codes in order to preserve the behavior of the generator. We propose a three-step encoding algorithm, which allows for both precise reconstruction and reenactment. First, we train a feed-forward encoder to predict style vectors from the output of the generator. Then, we initialize style vectors with encoder predictions spatial inputs with zeros and optimize these variables in order to minimize a reconstruction error. Apart from reconstruction, we constrained style vectors to stay close to the encoder predictions. Finally, we freeze the input variables and fine-tune generator weights to introduce more details into the image. The proposed algorithm can encode and reenact very different images. This slide presents reconstructions and animations obtained with different encoding algorithms. With our algorithm, we can obtain only style vectors. However, the generator handles global changes by its input vector Z, 
which is transformed to style vectors with a multi-layer dense network. We found this network difficult to invert. Thus, we decide to approximate its local dynamic by a separate neural network, which predicts style vectors for different lighting conditions. Our generator is trained to produce images up to 512. Input images often have higher resolution. We train a separate enhancement network, which fuses motion from the generated video and fine details from the high resolution input image. To upsample video, we train ESRGAN architecture. During training, ESRGAN takes as input images after our encoding algorithm. It effectively learns not only to upsample, but also to alleviate artifacts. The input image is passed through semantic segmentation in order to obtain a mask for blending. Changes of lighting are transferred from video to input image via deep guided filter. Frames from the upsampled video and the filtered image are fed into a shallow convolutional network, which reduces border artifacts. As a result, the video resolution is increased up to four times. We compare our approach with three baselines. Animating landscape implements an autoregressive model of optical flow, which is accumulated and applied to the pixels of the input image. SYNGAN is a single image generative model which implements motion by random walk in the latent space of the generator. Two stream networks generate motion by optimization of motion transfer loss with respect to four-dimensional video tensor. We also tried to implement two more baselines, but they either failed to converge on our dataset or produced two bad results, so the comparison is meaningless. Here you can see videos obtained by different models, including ours. We conducted quantitative and qualitative evaluation in three different aspects. Quality of individual frames, consistency of static details and overall video plausibility. On this slide you can see that our method achieves the smallest value of FID and perceptual similarity which indicates superior individual image quality and static consistency. The smallest FVD indicates the most plausible animation. Note that metrics of our method degrade with time not as fast as metrics of animating landscape. Here we present results of side-by-side -side user study in the left and real fake user study in the right. The higher preference scores belong to our models. For more quantitative evaluations, including generation and encoding ablation study, please refer to the paper and supplementary materials. Let us emphasize our contributions. First, we proposed an extension to the style GAN model, which allows for control of static and dynamic parts of an image separately. Second, we show that it's possible to learn video generation from a large image dataset and a small video dataset. Third, we proposed a special generator inversion procedure, which leads to in-domain latency and results in both precise reconstruction and ability to manipulate real images. Finally, we proposed a super-resolution architecture suitable for landscape videos. Thank you for watching. For more details, please refer to our paper and supplementary materials.